it's Ashley. Today we are going to be getting my planner set up and ready to go for November. I'm changing things up a little bit. I'm going to be bringing a mini happy planner back into my life. I miss my mini happy planner so I'm definitely adding it in at least for November and December to see how I'm liking it and if my new setup is something I want to stick with coming into 2021 because y'all I am struggling big time trying to figure out where my 2021 planner lineup is going to be and so I kind of want to try out some different things to kind of help give me some ideas, see what I'm loving, not loving so much, and then kind of go from there. Also, I woke up this morning with a sore throat thanks to Ohio's inconsistent weather patterns. Um, one day it's 80 degrees, the next it's 50. And normally in the fall and in the spring, I always get a little cold from the weather change. So if my voice sounds a little extra raspy, I apologize. I got me some coffee and I hope you're going to grab you some coffee as well so we can set this up. Now currently, this is my current planner setup. I am using a, hold on, I gotta move some stuff. I am using a classic happy planner. I love my classic happy planner. It's like the perfect size, but I also, I also love the mini. I use the mini for quite some time in nursing school and I really, really miss it. So I'm gonna walk you through really quickly what I have in here and then that'll help you kind of understand what I'm changing. So when we first open this up, this first section is where I have my habit trackers for my health and fitness goals. And then I also have my workout calendar, another workout calendar, some goals that I kind of outlined how I want to build muscle. And then when we get here, this is where I block schedule my day. So as a part of my morning routine, I come in and I block schedule my day and I plan that out. And I have a morning routine video up. You guys can see my current process. It may end up changing a little bit with what I'm setting up now, but for right now, it's still the same until um, next week whenever November starts. So I've got my hourly happy planner here that I'm using to block schedule my day. The next section is my catch-all planner. This will be changing. I'm gonna go into a mini for a catch-all and I'll show you guys that here shortly. But this is my catch-all planner. This one is from the leopard one. Very pretty, I love that one. Lo love the neutral vibes of it. And then the next section that we have, this is my social media planner. So I've got this all set up for social media. This is gonna be staying inside of here. And then back here, I have some notes that I've taken and used. I've got like birthday sheets, a joy list. I had a bucket list in here. Here's my reading list. And then the next section is just extra note paper and I have a folder in the back. Now, I what, I, what my thinking is, is that I wanna keep this classic planner in this cover as my main, like my, not my main planner, my goals planner. This is where I wanna keep my um, health and fitness stuff, my social media plans, kind of my goals are all inside of one planner. And then I'm gonna have the mini as my catch-all planner for um, like my daily to-dos and appointments and things like that. So that's kind of my plans. Um, this, is, this might get confusing, I hope it doesn't. I hope I can explain things well. But the first thing that we are going to do is remove, I never did go back y'all and remove September out of my planner from whenever I set this thing up for October. So we are gonna do that first and we're gonna take November out and then add, or we're gonna take September out, add November for some parts of it. So these are all the planners that the guts of this has come out of. I franken planned everything into one. These are the planners that they come out of. All right, so the, we are going to start with the hourly planner. I just have October in here, which we have to leave in here, but I am gonna go ahead and add November. The way I like to do this is I take a sticky note and I put it on the month that I will be at whenever I hop back in here so it's easy for me to get to. Now this is September inside of my catch-all. Did not plan that first week.
So September, my catch-all can come out, and that's going to go inside of here. Now, I was using the cover from this planner on here, but I changed it whenever they come out with those new covers. This cover is my absolute favorite. It's by Spoonful of Faith. I love this. I love this so stinking much. So, I never did put the other cover back on this one, but we are going to take September out, add it into here, and I'm not going to add November. And then once October is finished, I will go back in and add October back into here. I'll take it completely out of here and put it back into these, back into this one. Uh, let's set that over there. And then next up, we're going to take September out of here. This is my dashboard layout. It came out of this one. This is my favorite dashboard layout that they came out with because it is completely neutral and I love it. There's no giant like collar block over here on the side. Like you guys know what I'm talking about. This is plain. See? There's nothing there. I love that. So we are going to take out September. And then we will add in November. And then the last thing that we need to add in here is going to be my fitness planner. So for October, I honestly, whoops, sorry about that. I honestly have not been um, doing very well with fitness and health and goals and stuff like that because I'm on an excuse train apparently that I don't want to come off of. Um, but anyways, I digress. The way that I have been doing my fitness stuff is I create my own layouts and then I fill it in from there and I'm loving this. It's really fun. So we are going to continue that process. Now this is an old happy notes that I have. We're going to use the dividers out of here. And I like this one. This is the first one. I'm going to go ahead and put this one in there as well. So I have it for December and I don't have to mess with that. And I'm also going to take some of this dot grid note paper. And we're going to stick it in the back of the planner so it's in there. Because that's usually what I make my spreads on. Is just dot grid. Now this first divider, I like this side way better. This is so cute. I love the patterns on here. So we're gonna add that here. Really quickly, let me go ahead and take October out because we're not doing too hot in October. We don't wanna keep looking at October. And the way I do this, this is a happy notes that I had as well. And this is where I'm keeping old fitness stuff inside of here. So if we open this up, we've got, I think this was June, July, August, September. And then now I'm gonna add October to the back. Maybe I'll add October to the back. And that's where I've been storing all of those. All right, the, now what we are gonna do is, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take one of these dot grid pages and we're gonna stick the dot grid to this page. To this page. And I like to use Tombow double-sided adhesive tape to do that, this stuff is amazing. So I'm gonna stick these two pages together really quickly.
And then for this one, we are going to set it behind all of this stuff. And then I'm going to take handwritten plans and we are going to label these. I think it's up front. Yes. We need November and December. Okay, so there's that section. And then right after, I think I'm gonna do it after or before. Hmm. I have this big goals guided journal. I love this thing. I was using it for a while and then I stopped. And I wanna get back into this because I really love this guided journal. So I'm gonna take one, do I wanna do a whole section or a week at a time? If I do a whole section, that's a lot in here which I will be taking like October out of here and October out of here once October is over. So that may, hmm. nope, let's do it this way. We're gonna take this one and we'll just do a week at a time initially. Oh, so wait a minute. The way it works is this is the start of your week Day one, day two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this will be the start of the next week. Okay, so that's how we're going to do it. One week at a time. And then a part of my weekly planning routine, I will come back in, take that week out, and add the next week. I really love this guided journal. It's really cute. So we are going to add that one. We are going to add it. Where do we want to add it? I'm gonna stick it here for now. In between where I track workouts, nutrition, water, that kind of stuff, my habits, and then the rest of my planner stuff. I think I'm just gonna leave it here. And then this is, I'm not gonna start this until November. And so once that starts, I'm gonna use this divider for it the one that comes out of my catch-all. So I'm not gonna add another divider in there. I'll just take this one and move, actually I'll probably move this one up and then this one here, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, so I'll take this divider here. It's gonna go on whatever day I'm at here. And then this divider from here will go here, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's walk through this thing really quickly. We open it up. We've got some sticky notes up front here. Then we're going to go into my health, fitness, wellness goals section. This is where I will have my weekly spread, my habit trackers, workout trackers, all of that stuff will be here. And then we're going to go into the guided journal. So I'll come in here and fill out the guided journal. Next up, we will have hourly layout where I block schedule my day. So that'll be there. We're not going to have this section. The next section that we're gonna have is going to be my dashboard layout, which is for social media. This is where I put Instagram, YouTube, and then I'm also a health and fitness coach. So I have that stuff in here. And then the back section, I'm gonna leave it the same because I love having note paper. These sheets keep inside of here. Now the other thing I do wanna change, this little thing here, I got this, I am a Ray Dunn fan, y'all. Love Ray Dunn stuff. I got this off of Etsy and it says Planner Girl. And I also got Girl Boss, and then I got Hustle. I'm gonna take the Planner Girl one, we're gonna put it inside of my mini. I'm gonna put the Hustle and Girl Boss inside of here. And I will link these, the Etsy shop that I got these from down below in the description box if you guys wanna check them out. So we will put one of them there, one of them here. Just some fun little decorative elements to my planner, maybe. I can get this to go on there we go and then these are some note papers that I have here kind of some motivation stuff for myself and I have this sticker sheet here that I picked up off of Etsy as well 
And then I have some Happy Planner stickers up here that I like to keep in as decorative elements. So that is going to be my goals planner starting in November through December. So there's that one. Now let's go ahead and we are gonna set up the mini. All right, for my mini, I've pulled some things out already, ready to go. First, I have a mini deluxe cover from the Happy Planner. We open this up and I still have stickers inside of here from whenever I used this whenever I was in nursing school. I'm gonna leave those there. Those are some of my favorite stickers, but very functional. Now this one is one that the Happy Planner sent me inside of my squad box. This one is a vertical layout. It is a part of the Wild Style collection. Very neutral. I love this one. This was That was actually my classic size that I had for my catch-all was this planner here. Now I'm going to use this one inside of this little mini setup as a personal planner. Um, it's going to have some very personal items in here so I won't be sharing like this on YouTube. I won't be sharing it on Instagram. This is just for me. So I am going to add that in there, but I'm also going to add in a dashboard layout as my catch-all planner. Now, this planner here, this little mini, has two different planners on it because when I was in nursing school, I was using these and I kept the extra pages here. So we're going to go, what's this first one? This is the dashboard layout. We need November, which we have right here. And I really like this dashboard layout other than the little collar up there and the collar and the checklist over here. This one's pretty neutral. So I really love this one as well. I love the black and white up there. Very pretty. So we're gonna add November and December on here. Now what I did not think about was a cover. We're gonna use this one. I did think about a cover. I lied, I'm sorry. Now that I see the inside of this one, I remember I told myself that's the one I wanted to use. So we're going to take that cover and we're going to use these teal discs. I really love the black and white striped very cute. So we're going to put this one on the front. This one will be for the back, which the back of it, live creatively, is going to be upside down, but I'm okay with that. It's going to be slipped inside of uh, the deluxe cover anyway, so you're not going to see it. But I will try to link everything that I can down below in the description box, like the discs that I have, dividers, covers, planers, all the things, if it is still available. The easiest way that I know to do this, like when you're building a planner, is to put the discs on the cover first, maybe, and then start adding in your pages. All right, so we need November and December out of here. And that one's going to be in the front. And then this one, I'll show you it. It was also a dashboard layout. But it has the color over here. I, that one doesn't mind me that much. I usually cover that up. But I don't like having to cover this section up every single week. So I'm not going to use this one anymore. Actually, whenever they come out with this one, that's why I had stopped using this other dashboard layout. Because of this one being more neutral. So there's that. And then we're going to take out November and December from this planner. And I'm gonna take a sticky note. We're gonna stick the sticky note here so I know so it's easier for me to get back in whenever I add those pages back on here. Do we need a title page? Not really. 
Maybe I should. What's this one look like? Nah, we don't need one. That's okay. We do not have to have one. This is going to be a very thin mini planner, but that's totally okay. Now I have a couple of dividers here. The first one that I'm going to use is going to be in my dashboard layout, and this will start the first week of November. I'm going to use this clear one. And I really like this clear one because you can see both sides with it. So we'll pop that in. And then we will use this one for here. Now normally I have a pocket folder inside of every one of my planners. I'm not going to inside of this one. I don't need it in this one. This one's just literally like a catch-all and a little personal planner. I don't know that I'll be sticking much inside of here. Hmm, should I put a pocket folder in there? I'm not going to. I'm not going to this time. We're going to leave it. We are going to stick it in here. Look how cute that is, the black and white with that teal. We'll pop it in here. There we go. And then I want to take this. We're going to stick it up here. Oh, that's too high. We cannot do that. Let's take some of these. We're going to put these up here. Whoops, I didn't get them all in there. Those up there. These ones we'll put. I like whenever the blues and the purples are showing. We'll put those in there and then we'll stick this here. Again, just as something fun and decorative and then I need to grab a pen. This one is the uh, Uniball Signo. It's in 0.38. I love this pen. So we'll stick that there. That is super thin, you guys. That's funny. The last time I was in this mini planner, it was not that thin. It was very, very thick. But that's totally okay. That leaves room to grow. Oh, actually, you know what I do need to do? Hold on. Let me go get something really quickly. We are going to put some note paper in the back of here. I don't even know who I was thinking I was by not doing this. Uh, but I always have note paper. I love having note paper. You never know when you need to jot something down quickly. This little divider, I found it in my note paper section. I'm assuming it come from a mini Happy Notes. So I'm not 100% sure on that, but I thought it was cute. So we're going to stick it in there. I have some of this Mom and So Hard and the So Tired from the Super Mom collection. That was an incredible collection. We have some grid paper and then also lined paper. And then we're going to stick that in there. This mini planner may evolve over time. I may add more sections to it, change it up a little bit. I will keep you guys updated on that though. So we have that. And then I also have these ones. These are from the Wellness Warrior collection. I love these ones. I love the colors of them. These are great for setting priorities. And then I have these ones for like the busy days, like a quick little to-do list, don't forget. So I thought these were really cute. I love the colors on these ones. Are there two different ones or are they the same? They are the same. This will help thicken up the planner too. Some. So we'll do six of those and we'll do six of these. Then I'm going to take this mini divider that I had and we're going to stick it in front of the notes. 
I love this one. You can kind of see through it and then it's all the way out to the edge so it's easier for me to get to. All right, so for this one, let's flip through it really quickly. We're gonna open it up. The first section we have is going to be my catch-all. This is my dashboard planner in a mini. The next section is going to be a personal planner. This is in a mini vertical, vertical layout. And then the last section is just a note section where I will keep note paper and stuff like that. So that is gonna be my mini planner. I'm really excited to dive back into a mini. I've missed it. It's so stinking cute. It fits in almost anything that you have. So if you have a purse, a bag, whatever, it'll fit inside of there. Now, I like to carry a big bag. So my classic fits inside of it. A big planner would even fit inside of my bag. But sometimes I like to just carry a crossbody and this will fit fantastically inside of a crossbody. So I'm excited. That's going to be my planner lineup, at least for now. If I do decide to change anything, I'll let you guys know. If any of these planners evolve, I'll do a video and update y'all on it. But for now, this is going to be at least... I'm going to give this a go at least for November. We'll kind of gauge how it's going and then possibly December as well. I may change it up in December just to try something new before 2021 to help me figure out my lineup for 2021. If you guys know your lineup for 2021, please comment and let me know. I would love to hear you guys' ideas. What planners are you using, thinking about using? Just give me all the details, please. It, it may just help me figure out what I'm doing for next year. So thank you so, so much for watching my video. As always, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. I hope you have an incredible day and I will see you in the next video.